Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper. What I'm doing today is testing the Warm Guard propane tank heaters. You know, in Vermont it gets really cold in the winter, sometimes minus 30 degrees, especially in January. And if I had to use these propane tanks in minus 20 or even just cold temperatures, you always worry about propane freezing and not being able to uh, use it. So basically I did a lot of research and I found these warm guard blankets and they wrap around the tanks and I'm going to show you what they look like inside that it's under the cover there. And I have them plugged into my uh, DeWalt power station right here. It's a nice little power station. It gets uh, powered by these four 20 volt batteries which you also use for your tools and it puts out 1500 watts actually. So it's pretty nice. It's uh, and it charges four four batteries at once. All right, so let's take a, a look right here at the cord. The cord is nice and long, and I really like that because I'll be able to put it in this port right here and put it into a uh, a battery box which is inside the trailer. So that that was a big bonus. I didn't realize that the cord was that long. Let's take a look here, what it looks like inside the cover. So see, it's not much to see other than uh, basically a heater blanket that wraps around the tanks. And I've had it plugged in for oh, a good half hour. And it's warm. It's not, it's not hot by any means. I wouldn't expect it to be. Uh, but the tank is uh, warm. It's just like uh, lukewarm water, I'd say. Which is all you really need. You want to just keep the propane from getting too cold. Uh, it gets cinched up by a, uh, a, uh, a strap right there. Like a, uh, a strap that you, like a cargo strap, or one of those small cargo straps that you just put through a loop and it, it tightens up. Really easy to install. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with them so far. I think that it's going to help in the winter, no doubt, if I have to use these tanks. Or if you're out, you know, somewhere where it's uh, very cold out, say at a campground or something, it uh, will definitely come in handy. So I don't have to ever worry about propane freezing. At least that's what I hope. I'm going to test them out in the winter. I'll probably do an updated uh, video to see uh, how they performed. But it's really not that cold out today, maybe 35 to 40 degrees, but uh, it's, it's uh, definitely you could feel the difference to the touch, which I was a little bit concerned about how hot it would get. I thought it would get like really hot, but I guess the maximum temperature I read about it is uh, 90 degrees, so not too hot at all. Uh, you know, you have sun, the sun is hotter than 90 degrees at times, right? So definitely not that hot. And you're going to be using these things in the cold, so uh, some of that heat will be uh, dissipated pretty quickly when you have uh, cold air around it. So we'll see how it works. And uh, until then, when I get a chance to use it in the cold, I'll let you all know. I'll put some links down into the description uh, of where I got them. I got them off Amazon, like most things. And I'll even put a link for that inverter there so you can check that out. It's pretty cool. All right, everyone, uh, I appreciate uh, you watching through. And as always, keep prepping. Ron Prepper out. Take care.